No, it was not a dream. Hi again, Bengals fans, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Erpine with AllBengals.com. And yes, your Cincinnati Bengals have advanced to the divisional round of the playoffs. Not sure exactly who they're going to play, but I'll lay out the the path and, and what's going to happen. And Monday we'll react to it because we won't know officially until tonight with Kansas City and Pittsburgh play. But uh, I'll give you my gut feeling and all of that. Plus, Jonah Williams on Jamar Chase. And boy, oh boy, it seems like the whole world's busy stuck chasing Chase right now. And uh, and a little bit on Joe Burrow as well. But a uh, quick reminder to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Where uh, uh, continue to grow. We continue to grow here on YouTube. Uh, it's really exciting. I love seeing you out and about. And so many people, they mentioned Cincinnati Bengals talk, right? And it's not just locked on Bengals or all Bengals.com. So I love that. And so uh, welcome if you're new. And let's dive on in here because the Bengals, well, they're riding that playoff high and they're going to play uh, the, the most likely scenario to me is they're going to end up in Nashville playing the number one seed, Tennessee Titans, next week. Likely on a Saturday. We'll see. I think they're going to uh, keep it on a Saturday, uh, barring something unforeseen. Now, if the Steelers upset the Chiefs, could they put Bengals' bills on Sunday? Maybe, because I you know, I could see that happening. Either way, Bengals will go on the road. And I think what happens is the Chiefs ultimately crush Pittsburgh on Sunday night, which would mean the Tennessee Titans – and uh, a quick drive for Cincinnati ends about five hours to Nashville. So we're going to be there, by the way, at every step of the way. Uh, and I will say I like that matchup if it does happen. And I said that about the, the Raiders matchup going into that final week of the regular season. I said, man, if they can get the Raiders, that's the matchup I want. And they got them. So if there was a matchup between going to Buffalo, uh, going to Kansas City, um, or in this case, it would be, you know, going to Tennessee. Uh, I would take, let's go to Tennessee and, and see if Buffalo and, and the Chiefs see which one of those emerges and, and go from there. So we'll see if it happens. We'll have plenty on that throughout the week. We have some guests lined up, some former Bengals lined up, uh, a lot coming your way this week. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here, but you haven't rung the bell to get alerts, do it. It's going to be a fun week to do so. Um, you know, I was thinking to myself, because you, hopefully you saw the, the post game stand up and that was really hard to just organize my thoughts. I just come out of the news conference room and look, I'm 30 years old, Cincinnati native, never seen a playoff win. And it was hard for me to just do all of the work that I had to do. Right. And, and it's, I love doing it. I love talking on camera. I love writing. I love doing the podcast, but to put it into words, and now 24 hours uh, removed, or a little less than that, it's about 3.30 Eastern time as I record this, I, I can't help but just be shocked, amazed, uh, and, and I don't even, maybe, maybe surprised, I don't even know how to describe, just, I can't believe, after years and years and years of, oh, well, you know, Andy and AJ, they're just rookies, or man, you know, this, you know, it's just Carson Palmer's first season starting. Oh, it's just his second season starting. He'll come back and uh, Chad's one of the best receivers in the league. Those dudes never did what Burrow and Chase did yesterday in the playoffs, ever. And Chad Johnson, you ask a lot of people, people think he's the best receiver in franchise history. A.J. Green, before he got injured and started to have the, the injury issues in 2018, my Lord, I mean, he was on pace to be the best receiver in franchise history. And I get it. There are different shortcomings with each of those. And you could talk about Andy. You could talk about Carson's health. You could talk about matchups. You could talk about drama, coach, all of that. But my God, I, I just think the combination of Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, like you better buckle up your chin strap and never single cover Jamar Chase for the rest of time if you're an opposing defensive coordinator. Like he, he's 21 years old and he did that. Nine receptions, 116 yards. He was open all the time and any time they needed a play it seemed like they went to number one uno was open the rapport with joe burrow obviously we know how talented joe burrow is and so my biggest takeaway from yesterday is my god i can't believe we saw what we saw and again i, I want to put it into context because i get it it is the raiders and i picked the bengals to beat the raiders and i think a lot of us 95% of Bengals fans thought that was going to be the case. And there was about 5% of Raiders fans that invaded Cincinnati Bengals talk this past week and said that the Raiders were going to win. That's fine. I love it. I hope opposing fans come each and every week 
and hopefully the Bengals continue to advance and have a new opponent. But to think about that, right, 70.6% completion percentage, 24 of 34, 244 yards, two touchdowns. You, you were supremely confident in Joe Burrow in his first playoff start. I didn't say that about Andy Dalton in any of his playoff starts. I was really confident going into that Carson Palmer 05 year. 09 was not confident that he was going to be able to carry that team. And obviously he didn't. Joe's different. And Jamar is different. And I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I decided, all right, what I'm, what I'm going to do, because Joe Burrow is the first overall pick in 2020, 2021, Jamar Chase is the fifth overall pick. Let's go back another year, 2019. Jonah Williams was the Bengals' first round pick. And we talked to him on Sunday. And so I straight up asked him about Jamar Chase because just wow. I'm saying wow. Is Jonah saying wow? Here's a, about a two minute clip of me going back and forth with my man, Jonah Williams. Jonah, I'm sure uh, you thought Jamar Chase was going to be good, naturally, fifth overall pick. Are you surprised at how good he's been as a rookie? I'm not surprised because I, I know how good he is and I watched him, uh, you know, in, in 2019 with LSU and then just seeing him in camp and seeing him just the, the type of player he is in practice. And I, I just I think he's he's just an, a phenomenal athlete. And it's, it's exciting as a as a lineman when, you, when you're protecting and then you see the ball go and you see Jamar get it. And I know if guys are like one step behind him and there's no one else, it's a touchdown because he's going to outrun everyone, you know. And even if there's a couple guys in front of him, he's going to make a miss. He's going to outrun him. He's going to run through a tackle. He's going to do something. Um, just his ability to make these big explosive plays has been huge for us in terms of being a, um, you know, an explosive offense that can put up a lot of points. Just knowing that any play – could turn into a 60 yard touchdown It kind of, you know, it can break the back of the other team and be very demoralizing. Um, so yeah, Jamar is incredible. And I knew that, but it's been awesome to see him prove it every week. Is there a one wow play, you know, maybe it was against the Vikings. It could have been in training camp, but has there been a play where you look, you're like, wow, I can't believe that happened. I think the craziest play, the, the Vikings one was exciting because that's, you know, it was kind of the exact reason I feel that we drafted him was to be able to take the top off the defense and, you know, just to do that. And that, that was the first time we've seen in games. So that was exciting. But I think the the craziest play for me was against the Ravens, um, that one where he broke two or three tackles and then just out, outran everyone. Um, I don't know if it was an 80-yard touchdown, but it, it felt like it. And, yeah, that that one I was like, wow, this kid's special. One, I love Jonah's personality. It's the best. He's very real. <laughs> and two, whew, it's uh, it's true. I mean, I mean, I was there for that Baltimore one uh, against the Ravens, and it just stunned the entire stadium. And that's the thing. Whatever cloth that Joe Burrow and, and Jamar Chase are cut out of, you know, whatever it is. I mean, after the game, Jamar Chase said, I was a, you know, a sloppy win, <laughs> right? And, and kind of downplayed it. Uh, Joe Burrow, the same thing. I love that. It's it's bigger than anything that anybody in this franchise has done in 30 plus years. And they're young in their second or first seasons. One couldn't drink uh, legally last March, just turned 21. It'll be 22 in March, but still he's a baby. And he's like, yeah, it's kind of a sloppy win. I'll take it. We did our jobs, but <laughs> I love it. I love it. And th that's when you look at why you should be excited or why this team could make a run, it's because they got their best players, their absolute best, had that attitude after their first win and you know playoff win in three decades. That would be hard for anybody to have at any point in their career. And they're acting like they're Tom Brady with their 35th playoff win. They're like, yeah, this is what we do. We have a game next week. We got to focus on that. It was sloppy. We should have finished them earlier. Like, I know that's how Jamar felt. Like he was bo bothered that it took that long and that it went down to the wire. I love it. And I think it bodes well for the Bengals, not only this season, but moving forward. And man, I, I know there are a lot of Bengals fans either in town uh, or around town. Hopefully you're still in town. If not, uh, either way, by the way, you could check out Rivertown Inquiry, whether you want to get a little Rivertown Inquiry swag like this 
or whether you want to get our Tiger Lock tea that is just gone off. There's so many people that are going to their shop. It's 3096 Madison Road in Oakley, about 10 minutes from downtown, uh, just right up 71. And uh, it's uh, it, it's been a lot of fun partnering with Rivertown Inquiry. They had some giveaways uh, for us that we gave away on, uh, gave away a bunch of shirts, gave away uh, a nice sweatshirt. So shout out to everybody that came to Holy Grail on Friday night. And that's the thing is I tried to end every conversation on Friday night because you never know how many times you're going to run into people. It was, it was packed. It was so much fun. And I was like, well, I, I hope they get it done for you. I think they're going to. I hope they do. Because there were so many out of town or so many people that were so excited and not accustomed to seeing or being that confident or seeing a team like this. And I was just like, I hope they deliver. And they did. And it's, uh, it's a great feeling. And the best way to celebrate would probably, uh, outside of a, a victory cigar, nice bourbon, uh, order uh, a nice Tiger Lock shirt or one of the other many uh, different shirts they have at RivertownInquiry.com. You could see them in person. You could go there. Or I keep talking about bourbon. I'm telling you, this glass, I had a friend text me. He was like, I saw you tweet this glass. I ordered it instantly. And uh, this is the glass that he was sipping bourbon out of during the game on uh, Saturday night when the Bengals snapped the curse. So make sure you check out rivertowninquiry.com. But uh, yeah, that's my that's my big take is Jonah, uh, you know, he was spot on with what, uh, what he said about Jamar Chase, but Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, they're different. So buckle up, strap in, get ready for an awesome week, regardless. If they end up going to KC, uh, which I think is extremely unlikely, it's more likely. uh, I'm trying to think of the the scenarios. I don't think they're going to end up in KC, and I might be dead wrong. I don't think they can. I think it'll be either uh, Nashville or Buffalo. Either way, though, we got you covered every step of the way, all week long. Exclusive guests, special guests, former Bengals that are already confirmed. So subscribe. And uh, tell all your friends about Cincinnati Bengals talk as the Bengals climb continues in their march to the Super Bowl at SoFi Stadium. Three wins away. The two from the Super Bowl. Three wins away. We want to cover it every step of the way. For our editor, Andrew Fox Miller, who busted his tail, make sure you watch uh, the postgame reaction video as well with all the players, including Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. And uh, Zach Taylor was really good as well. So check that out. And uh, yeah, for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Erpine. Thank you so much for watching right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk.